I'm not into Sophie McCart. I'm trying to wind that dickhead Orlando up. You know you really are at low life. Skin. The mind boggles. It was an attempt to... To what? Injure somebody? A patient, maybe? Good thinking, Kip. I would never do something that stupid. It was an attempt. I agree it was stupid to raise morale, and mainly at TK. And you think humiliating staff raises morale? The joke was only ever meant to be on me, no one else. But it kind of went wrong at the last minute. Hmm. <laughs> what is your job title, Kip? Head of department. Then you better have a good hard look at that and ask yourself whether you measure up. Because believe me, if I have to, I will replace you. I can think of more than one hungry, well qualified candidate out there who would be in like Flynn. <laughs> Callum Mackay. Yeah. I'll speak to you later. Thanks very much. You're welcome. You dropped me right in it. I'm sorry? With the boss, the banana thing. Well, he was listening into our conversation and required clarification, which I provided. Well, you didn't have to provide every last detail. You're angry. That would be one way of putting it, yes. For something you did. No, for something you did. I didn't do anything except provide clarification for the CEO. That is required of me at all times. I believe the expression in cases like this is, get over yourself. I'm so looking forward to this. Really? No. Why not? The running commentary while Gabrielle operates totally gets up my nose. Uh, mm, attention, everyone. This sharpy thing I have in my hand is, guess what, a scalpel. <laughs> She's more interesting than some of the other surgeons. <laughs> it wouldn't be hard. And I'm learning heaps. You're such a sport. If you ask me, she just likes the sound of her own voice. Oh, it's not that. Some people with Asperger's just do detail really well. Mm, you're an expert now, huh? My friend Anna has Asperger's. She rocketed through varsity. She's a lecturer now, and she's the same age as me, and she never shuts up on her favourite subjects either. <laughs> <sighs> it's better. Tired. All the time these days. Why doesn't anyone tell you how exhausting pregnancy is? Standing around is the hardest. Maybe you should go home. Um, Scotty won't mind. He can find a scrub nurse to fill in. I'll be okay. I want to be there. Mrs. Wheeler's prepped. We're all ready to go. Will you be removing the cysts? No, they're too small. The only way around it is to drill into the precoronal skull. Let's the neurocystic psychosis. Mm. Relieve the cranial pressure. Break out the power tool. But how long do you think it'll take? The procedure? Yes. I can't be specific. Well, just a rough guess then. Hour, less than an hour. Well, I have planned for one hour and 36 minutes, but the variables... Well, maybe Morgan are... and I should switch then. Um, I'll scrub, but if you're circulating, then you won't be standing still the whole time. I don't see the problem. She's pregnant? Yes. So I'm heavy to scrub. If I'd wanted you as my scrub nurse, I would have said so. Morgan's more experienced. I'll be fine, honestly. Good. Juice. Did you see Sophie at school today? Who? You owe her an apology. What for? You know what for. Look, what has she ever done to you except try to be a friend? It's not my fault to you what I said. At least it was the truth. No, you're missing the point. <laughs> you don't talk about people like that and you don't use them to wind up your mates. How would you feel if she did that to you? She'll get over it. No, she'll get over it when you man up. I apologise. I'm not apologising. Well, that's non-negotiable. You can't tell me what to do. Someone has to. You clearly can't figure it out for yourself. How are you feeling? Like I need to sleep for a week? Bring me a chair so I can sit down, will you? What size burr is this? It's a three mil. I always use a six. Sorry, I don't have one here. Go and get me one, please. Well, I'll have to go down to the storeroom. Fine, we wait. 
but it could take me a few minutes. I only use a six. Can you go and get me one, please? Think of me. He needs pulling in his place. How many times have I said that since we started working here? <laughs> You're the one who backed his appointment, Sarah. He's a good doctor. <laughs> Just not a fully functioning adult. I honestly thought that with the new responsibility, he would do some growing up. I know, that's not what you're paying him for. Craig would have known how to handle this. Well, Craig's not here. Take a seat, mate. Anything you want to say for yourself? It won't happen again, I promise. Oh, for goodness sake, Kip. We've heard it all before. Just grow up. That pretty well nails it, mate. No, can I say something else? Please do. You are not one of the jocks now. You won't get respect from your team, and believe me, I speak from experience. By hooning around trying to get them on side. They need leadership, not a best friend. Now, if you can't make the jump to that, then you better say so real quick. I can. I know I can. Good. I'm issuing you with a formal verbal warning. OK. You know the process here. Two more strikes and you are out on your ear, Kip. Sure. I owe you an apology. You sure do. Highlights of the term. How gay is that? Stop making excuses and write something. What have you said? Write your own speech. By no being here, boy, it was all about stupid speeches. Just put something down about sport, like how big your ego is or what a fantastic cricketer you think you are. <sighs> See? This is why boys are hopeless. The concentration span of an ant. Hunter, get the door. I'm busy. When did your last slave die off? <laughs> well, look who's here. Hey, Samoa. Hi. Hi. Can we talk? Go right ahead. Maybe not here, can we? <laughs> Loser. Just say what you want to say and go. Forget it. Excellent communication skills. I think he came to apologise. Don't make me laugh. The guy's suffering. Put him out of his misery. No way. He deserves to suffer, the little weasel. You know what he actually thinks? That you like me. As in, like me like me. Yeah. Like I like sticking pins in my eyes. You two are both pathetic. Mosquito forceps. Please. Sorry. Sorry. Faster next time would be good. Can we take a break for a few minutes? I mean, we're nearly there. You said you'd be fine for surgery. It's gone on about that's all. If you're not up to it, you shouldn't be here. That's not fair. Okay, none of us knew it was going to take this long. It's not Morgan's fault, and I mean, she's fully pregnant. All right, you can scrub in. Then you can go. Now. Oh, are you seeing him tonight? I'm not telling. Oh, you are seeing him tonight. Oh, this is getting serious. What would you know? The look on your face. I'm not answering any more questions about Chris, OK? Oh, I haven't even started. The foot. Gabrielle Jacobs has got to go. Uh, shush, please. I'm busy here. Can you babysit in the morning, please? Yeah, sure. The usual time? No. I start at 6.30. What? Well, it's not like you've got anything else planned. Oh, actually, I do. A sleepover with Dr Rich. You're just going to have to leave early. Well, I might not want to leave that early. Too bad. We're short-staffed and Jacobs has ordered me on rounds in the morning. I can't exactly refuse. If this is you getting at me about Chris... What? This is me saying I do nearly all the childcare while Maya's not here, so you can pull your weight for a change. I did pull my weight. Oh, you did when Dr Rich wasn't on the scene. Can okay. you stop calling him that? OK, let's keep it nice, children. I'll drop JJ off before I start work. That'll save what's-his-name from attempting a wake-up quickie. Oh, uh, look, I don't think I can listen to this anymore. Can't be to think about it. Well, she likes your boyfriend. Well, given her history with men, she doesn't deserve an opinion. Do you have any idea how much oxygen my family takes up? Honestly, they're all over everything. It's like nothing is private. Tanya's the only one in town at the moment. Yeah, well, that's one too many. That'll be a ride. Not bad. Try not to mess it up on the day. Excuse me, you've written three lines and suddenly you're an expert. 
When was the last time you delivered a speech to the hospital? Yeah, OK, don't work out on me. And excellent has a C in it. Go get yourself a dictionary. Is she always like this? Are you here for dinner? No, he's not here for dinner. But you two are getting on so well. Email me your speech. Sure, when I see yours finished. Then we can compare notes. If yours is good enough, if not, then you're on your own. Move it. I've got a meeting with a vendor. All right, I'm coming. Bye, Orlando. He likes you. <laughs> I'm going to throw up. Daniel does as well. I'm flattered. So my fan club's a subnormal weasel and a thug who can't put two sentences together. I guess my only real problem with this is deciding which one's more revolting. Now, there's a tough call. Have you done the deed? What? Apologise to Sophie. Mate, just do it. Go and see her. Get over and done with. Like it's that easy. Two words. I'm sorry. The longer you Are wait. Are talking about him? No one. That doesn't sound like no one. Who are you saying sorry to? Over to you. What's going on? I don't want to talk about it. Is this you and Sophie? There is no me and Sophie. Oh, I thought you really liked her. Have you been <sighs> mean to her? I can ask her myself, so you may as well just tell me. Yeah, all right. I was mean to her. I'm going to apologise. Good. <sighs> that looks disgusting. Yep. I have to agree. See you tomorrow. Mm. Did you know the banana gag has a long history? I did some research. My favourite is the double whammy. The guy is walking along and nearly bumps into a lamppost, but he sees it at the last minute, steps aside, gives a big smug grin, and then slips on the banana skin. It's an interesting concept, don't you think? No, not really. Well, when you examine it, I guess it says something about arrogance and the fall, no pun intended, from grace. I needed to hear that. I don't know why the banana has been chosen to be the butt of all jokes. Not to mention its most recent incarnation. Do you know of anyone who's been propositioned in the supermarket by a guy with a bunch of erect bananas? Oh, would you shut up about it? I'm so deep in the crap thanks to you and your big mouth. Logic says it wasn't me or my big mouth that got you in the crap. You did it all by yourself. I don't want to be around you anymore because I don't like being shouted at. The decibel rating is not comfortable. Did she just dump you? I think so. Maybe it's a good thing. Being dumped. Forgetting about all the girlfriend stuff and focusing on work for a while. That's what I'm gonna do. And that's what I'm gonna do too. You were supposed to be at your place. I've just driven right across town. Oh, I think Auntie Towns was a little grumpy this morning. You forgot, didn't you? I didn't forget about JJ. I just forgot to set the alarm. Unbelievable. Now I am running so late. Oh, I didn't do it on purpose. Settle down. Hey, do you have time for a coffee? No, thank you. Don't be rude. I'll be as rude as I like. I think it, it's about time you realise that your family is a lot more important than your ridiculous attempts to get rich quick. Sorry about that. Tatton is entitled to her opinion. Looking good. How are you feeling today? I'm relieved the surgery is over. Yes, it went very well indeed. Do you have any questions at Sorry. this stage? Sorry, I'm later. Childcare mix up. Then sort out your childcare. We don't have time for this. I, I said I'm sorry, um, These things happen. You can go. I can take over now. Thank you. That's okay. I'd prefer you to stay. But Tanya's here now. Yes, late and behind on the notes. I, I can catch up. Well, and waste more of our time? Go, please. Now, let's get on. Great, now he's stalking me. Who? Who do you think? Take a look in the car park. No way. Maybe he's going to jump out of a cake for you, butt naked. Oh, please. I don't even want to think about him. You know, he turned up to my place yesterday. What a cheek. What did he want? No idea. I still can't believe he did all that stuff just to get back at Orlando. <laughs> like Orlando's worth the hassle. Oh. Are you at school yet? Like it's any of his business where I am. Maybe we should take a look. 
Might be worth a laugh. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to do anything that dickhead tells me to. Piker. Come on. Shaving cream. Is he nuts? I don't believe it. When Dupree sees it, she'll go off her head. What do you think you're doing? Isn't it obvious? Are you trying to be smart? No. Pathetic. Totally pathetic. In my office. Now. You too, Sophie. Oh, this had nothing to do with me. We'll see about that. You're so left to regret this. Hi. Hi. Can I come in? You eat breakfast late. Oh, I just got high on my work last night. Anything interesting? Just the usual. Look, um, I'm pretty naked, actually. You still look sexually appealing, though. I thought you didn't want to see me. Of course I want to see you. That's why I'm here. And the anaesthetist deferred my last case, so I didn't want to let the time be unproductive. Or you can finish your breakfast first. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. I'm just kind of... Tired? A... Yeah, you said that. I thought after last night we'd broken up. What makes you think that? Well, normally when somebody says they don't want to be around you anymore, that's a fairly big hint. No, that was over a work issue, not a personal issue. Sounded pretty personal to me. No, the two things are completely separate. I still like you, just not when you're being stupid and irrational, which you were last night. <sighs> Look, Gabrielle, I really think we need to talk about this. OK. Can we talk in bed? If you've got any holes in the roster, I'm available for some extra shifts. Sure. I'm guessing you don't want nights, though. Nights are fine. I've got no life, Scotty. It's just me and the cat. Actually, I'm lying. I don't even have a cat. <laughs> and here's me thinking, what an excellent work ethic. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll sort out the rosters I need you know. Jess. Have you talked to Gabrielle today? No? Why? I was 20 minutes late this morning, not my fault, my stupid sisters, and Gabrielle biffed me off rounds, incredibly rudely, in front of everyone. She's a consultant. They're not known for their manners. Well, it's not just me. Yesterday in theatre, Morgan copped it, and I've talked to her registrar. Even he thinks she's out of line. Morgan hasn't said anything. Well, Morgan's in no state to rock the boat at the moment. The thing with Gabrielle is she doesn't even listen. Any other surgeon would have at least got what was happening for Morgan. What did happen? Well, the surgery went way longer than scheduled, and when Morgan needed a break for a few minutes, Gabrielle ordered me to scrub it and firstly told Morgan to get lost. Well, that's the way Gabrielle operates. We need to get used to it. Yeah, I know. We all do. But where does it stop? At this rate, you'll have everyone in the department offside. You apologised and explained why you were late? <sighs> of course I did. You know what she's like. There's, everything's black and white. There's nothing in between. And the poor patient is sitting there listening to every word. Not a good look. OK. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. What did you think getting me in trouble would achieve? I didn't do it to get you in trouble. I told Dupree that. Brilliant. Now, do you understand the meaning of the word consequences? Yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. So let's get one thing straight. Don't text me. Don't call me. And above all, don't come anywhere near me. Look, I didn't mean this... What did I just say, Daniel? OK? I'm not listening. You don't exist. I did it to apologise. And that's the way to do it? Write it on a car? Well, maybe not. Yeah, OK, it was a stupid idea. But it's not like you listen to anything I say, is it? Why do you think that might be? Oh, man, how sad is that? He's washing off his little love letter. Are you trying to prove that you shave? You guys are just as pathetic. Hey, Samoa, you hear that? She's sticking up for you. She likes you. Why don't you ask her out? Yeah, ask her out. Go on. Maybe she'll be so desperate she'll say yes. Get stuffed. Sorry? What was that? I said get stuffed. Tanya, Scotty passed on your concerns. Re Gabrielle, I'll look into it. Why you? Shouldn't it be Callum? Not really. I'm the one who appointed Gabrielle. Well, you'll hardly be impartial, though, will you? I don't follow. You gave her the job. You're not about to admit that you might have been wrong. She's a talented surgeon. With terrible PR skills. With some communication difficulties. You try working with her. A little patience, maybe. A little consideration wouldn't go amiss. I've tried that. And she's the only person in the building you don't get on with? 
What, no? I don't hear you complaining about any of the others. Now you're just making it personal. No, I'm not. Just be very sure you haven't chosen an easy target. Right. So you're taking her side because I'm making the complaint. Because you have issues with me. I don't have issues with you, Tanya. All right, not even the fact that you know I don't like you seeing my sister. Tanya! That has nothing to do with this. I think you should leave now. Happy to. Was she having a go at you? Just making her feelings known. That is way out of line. How dare she? It's fine. I don't think this is working. Well, obviously it isn't. I mean, us, you and me, we're too different. Well, you'd rather be in bed with a man. What? No. I was trying to make a joke. A friend told me that casting aspersions on a man's sexual orientation often causes laughter. Oh. You don't like me? No, I like you. I just... I don't think we're that good together. Well, because I told you off for shouting at me last night. I was being honest. Don't you approve of honesty? Of course I do. No, I don't think you do. Because... If we must talk about work, it seems to me that you won't take responsibility for the stupid prank you played. You want to blame me for telling someone else about it. And you want to stay being angry at me because somehow it lets you off the hook. Well, it says to me a mental age of around... seven. Thanks. I didn't say that to upset you. Great, it hasn't. And now is the time when people say to each other, can we move on? So can we? Because I'm starting to find this going around in a near circle thing quite boring. But also, I know I can be blunt and go on a bit, but... Well, that's just me. Maybe we just give it a miss. So now we're breaking up? Yeah. That's the way it has to be. I'm taking a shower.